three of them in their third FA Cup final, Seaman, Dixon and Adams, Martin Keown in his second, and a first for Ashley Cole. Real competition for places in midfield, Vieira, a certainty, and Pires. Freddy Lundberg has forced himself into the picture with recent goals and the quartet completed by Jules Grimondi. And it's the French strike force of Thierry Henry and Sylvain Viltor. Gerard Houllier's selection system is hardly rotated come crunch time. Goalkeeper and the back four, undeniable first choices, but key decisions in midfield. Danny Murphy and Vladimir Smitzer were selected. Down to the bench go Patrick Berger and Gary McAllister. Up front, 43 goals between Emil Heskey and Michael Owen, while Robbie Fowler was left on the bench. Cole. Perez outside it. Cole now of Arsenal and England, of course. The young man alongside the, the old stages at the back for the Gunners, but it's in midfield that Arsenal win it. And the ball through to Thierry Henry was from Jungberg. And Henry, oh, he says there was a hand. Well, he's a hand from the linesman if there is, but I tell you what, you don't get many better chances in this. He's convinced there's an arm here, there's a handball. Brilliant pressure from Vieira in midfield, and this is a superb ball and a wonderful run. He goes a little wide, he looks to play it in himself. Or does it hit the arm and go wide? It hits something, Martin, but what is it? The arm? It is. That's Stephen a penalty. Arms, left arm. I'm sorry, I know it's not, I'm not deliberate, maybe, but that stops a goal. And in my book, that's a penalty. point of the opening 20 minutes Stefan Anshaw preventing Arsenal and Thierry Henry taking the lead with his left arm I think for the consequence of the belt being given as well Mark, not just possibly a goal but sending off Owen after Heskey had had a good touch Gerard! brand new make of uh, football today new design Aerodynamics put to the test here. Well, the tail it can go at 114 miles an hour. This would have been up there pushing it. Lovely strike, just rising as it hits it, not really threatening the goal. Restricts it well enough. Martin Keown was sufficiently worried to try and deflect it. They do have uh, Sammy Herpia, a giant defender, is uh, going in. It's beaten away by Seaman. Just a reaction from the Arsenal goalkeeper, but it was enough. Herpia was trying to get in and follow it up. He's been forced wide here. And in the end, Arsenal get a free kick. They could easily have been a goal down. Well, that's what I mean, if it only takes a second. This isn't good marking. Heskey's muscles his way in there. He really does use his pace and his strength. And if this is either side of David Seaman, then that's the first goal. Good reactions from the goalkeeper. So close from Heskey. Signs that the momentum that was uh, maybe lacking in the first half is starting to get into the match. It's Arsenal again trying to inject it. And, uh, Liverpool very solid in their defensive play. Schmitz. Really? That is absolutely football of the highest quality. Patrick Vieira on the prowl, but uh, Henri takes it from him. Now Vieira. Now Jungberg, Wiltor and Henri are in the centre. Cole going to the left of Pirex. Henri. Oh, he oh, juggled past two, but not past the third. But now he's in. It's Thierry Henri. Oh, what a chance. Ashley Cole. Well, what an opportunity, absolutely fantastic play from Thierry Henry, just misses the ball. That's the only thing he does wrong there, trying to poke it past Sander Vesterbilt, but Ashley Cole coming in, goalkeeping, he can only stab at the ball. What a clearance. Sammy Hope, you're on the line. Yes. Gerard. Picking out Marcus Babel. Trying to get there. Well, I think the change has helped him. There's no doubt. I think Gerard 
looks to be comfortable in there now, just sitting. And he can get the ball and he can pass it. And I'm no doubt Gary McAllister will be happy being asked to do the job he's been asked to. That's get the ball, try and influence the game high up the pitch. All right. And he wants to try and place it. Youngberg arriving. Freddie Youngberg, it's off the line again. Arsenal once more come very close to scoring the first goal here in Cardiff. I don't think you can keep missing chances like this in a cup final. Especially as good chances. Well, we wonder whether it would come for them in the semi-final. Yeah. That's what I mean. Plenty then. They keep going, don't they? Mm. And I didn't think Tottenham had the cutting edge that Liverpool have. And that might be the difference, Martin. Oh, real. Oh, it's not there. Nice to call. But Freddie Youngberg went to try and chip it. Well, the first chance is always, my I thought he'd really go at the defender and commit him, he didn't. But this has just stood up, he tries to nick it in the top corner. It's quite a simple header in the end with the goalkeeper in his face. And uh, Pat Rice, Arsene Wenger and yeah. company Frustration. are frustrated. Sammy Hopia twice off the line in the second half. Arsenal about to make a change, Martin. Three parlour. I think Grimondi will be the one to come off. I think that would be the most natural change for me. And I notice Cano has been signalled to come trotting back. So it may be a double substitution. Or certainly two in quick succession. Ooh, Westerveld scuffed his uh, clearance. Perez. Oh, it's Youngberg! Round the goalkeeper, Freddie Youngberg for Arsenal. They've not, and not, and not, and finally the door's been opened. Festival's poor players at the heart of it, and they spring beautifully. Look at Youngberg's run. Perfect timing, perfect touch, perfect finish. We have our first goal. Well, he's been in goal getting form so impressively in recent games. This is five now in his last six starts. That's what earned him his place in the starting 11. And Arsene Wenger says, Yes, at last. Schmeitzer. Tidied up by Adams. Jungberg's pass. Henri, Thierry Henri. Festival has saved it. Henri's there again. And once more, Herpia off the line. Arsenal really could have put it to bed then. Oh, and he should have put it to bed. Never mind, could have put it to bed. Well, he's got his hands in his head, Martin. And he's had a glorious opportunity here. He's absolutely tormented Stephen Olshaw, and he does so again here on the edge of the box. It might well have been a penalty again there, a hand striking the ball. It's a magnificent save from Vesterville. You have to say, this save is absolutely brilliant. But as it dropped, he really should have done better. It might have made it over the line, but Sammy Hooper's hat-trick <laughs> saves the day. And An he knows unusual it. FA Cup final hat-trick. Vesterveld has been protected by three goal-line clearances from the tall Finnish defender. Silva Wiltor is coming off. Ray Parler is on. Well, that's a change because I guarantee you it was Grimaldi that was coming on, Martin, prior to that goal. Because we're searching for a goal, that would have been the natural thing, but now they need the protection. Youngberg, I feel sure, will be given the role just off of Thierry Henry. Pallard will come right side, and that'll be it. And you just feel sure that Gerard Hulli has got to respond now with Robbie Fowler. Well, Robbie Fowler, whose record against Arsenal has played 13, 11 goals. A couple of hat-tricks. One would do at the moment for Gerard Julio. One goal to extend the game and Patrick Berger as well 
Danny Murphy departs. He goes off for his uh, Czech mate, who's going to come on the left-hand side, Patrick Berger. And it's uh, Fowler up with Owen Heskey's moving slightly right side. But really a chance for a three-pronged attack for Liverpool. So a goal down to Freddie Jungberg and Arsenal. And Arsenal are trying to do to Liverpool what Liverpool did to Arsenal for the best part of 70 minutes. Gerrard. It's Owen. Keown. Well, that was a classic confrontation. Calgary taking on uh, Parler, who just impeded him. Well, they're trying to get the line in the box. Tony Adams saying penalty spot. We don't drop deeper. Give the goalkeeper a chance. But I guarantee they will drop. It's a natural thing to do. They're going to drop. Probably end up six yard box. Look how deep they're going. Pressure's in there. Keown got to it. Adams trying to be strong. So was Babel. 1 1. Michael Owen. Scrappy, scrappy goal, though. look how deep the drop. They don't deal with it, they're really surprised. And I have to say, at the back post, Martin, back without muscles, Tony Adams. Really surprised here. Adams goes there, so does Babel. Babel keeps the ball alive. And well, the hottest of hot Liverpool strikers at the moment. Just turns, swings, hits, and it's a wonderful reply. Well, we haven't seen too many Julio smiles today. But suddenly now, it's Liverpool who are having a say on Cardiff's big day. And it's far from game over at the Millennium Stadium. Tentative. Berger. Oh, and uh, Owen will brush past Dixon. Cross comes Adams. Owen! Absolutely magnificent. Michael Owen has turned the FA Cup final on its head. talk about pace being a vital commodity in a striker today just watch this blows away Dixon takes it wide of Adams and what a placement this is absolutely stunning this is the only place a man can score he ain't going to score anywhere else on the goal other than that bottom corner across David Seaman it's quite extraordinary Owen didn't even get on the pitch here in February in the Worthington Cup final. But Michael Owen is the young man who has made such a difference. Hardly any supply feeding off scraps for much of the game. Now Liverpool supporters will get this video up and fast forward it to the 75th minute <laughs> because that's what the Cup final has been all about the last 15 minutes of this football match. Because before that, they were second best in all departments. It's Fowler. Seaman saves. Steve Dunn has a look at the watch. Here's the one last Arsenal attack. It's Liverpool's FA Cup in Cardiff. It's an Owen.
is still on for this tireless team. Well, the Millennium Stadium has fought a strong link with Merseyside this season. 